So here is the top of the chi-square distribution table that appears in the back of your book. The authors um, illustrate, again, by way of heading, that the probabilities that are contained within the table are cumulative probabilities, the probability that x is less than or equal to x. They also illustrate, by way of the chi-square distribution with 8 degrees of freedom, the area shaded to the left of x um, in, in an attempt to illustrate again that we're dealing with cumulative probabilities, the probability that a random variable with eight degree chi-square random variable with eight degrees of freedom is less than or equal to x is uh, given by this shaded region. And they also give the region that uh, the probability that a random variable, chi-square random variable with eight degrees of freedom is greater than or equal to chi squared sub alpha is equal to alpha. Now the thing that's going to differ uh, between this table and the tables that we've seen previously, namely the binomial table and the Poisson table, is that this table is inside out from those tables. And what I mean by that is that the numbers contained in the tables are the chi square values, whereas the headings on the top of the columns up here are the probabilities. And so when you are looking for a particular chi-square value, you're going to want to be looking inside the table. When you're looking for a chi-square probability, you're going to want to be looking at the headings of the columns. Along the left column here is the uh, degrees of freedom. So the first thing you're going to be dealing with is finding the row that you're concerned with. If you're interested in, say, since the author here has chosen a chi-square with 8 degrees of freedom, if you're interested in a chi-square random variable with 8 degrees of freedom, then you are only going to be concerned with the row that's headed by that 8. Now, um, so how we would read this particular table, let's just pick one particular value here. Let's say that 15.51. Now, what this table tells us is the probability that x, where that x is a chi-square random variable with 8 degrees of freedom, is less than or equal to 15.51 is going to be 0.95. And how I know that is by going up the table and seeing the 0.95 there. Alternatively, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 15.51, when x is a chi-square random variable with 8 degrees of freedom, it is headed by, again in the column here, is uh, that value is 0.05. So that is going to be primarily the two ways that you'll be using um, this chi-square table.